This is the most important part of imagining your robot. Let's dive into the design process with step one, defining the problem. Defining the problem is where you look at a game and imagine every possible way that it could be played. These possibilities are then stated as your problems. In order to do this, we will take a very close look at the game manual, read through all the rules, and then figure out the best ways to play the game. So why is it important to define the problem? Well, when beginning any project or finding any solution, it is important to have a high understanding of what the end goal is. Defining the problem forces the team to think like the game makers to find out how the game is supposed to be played. Our example of this importance is in the game Starstruck. Without having a concrete understanding of all the possibilities a game offers, teams may make the mistake of having a minor part of the game be their sole strategy. In the game Starstruck, for example, the high hang bonus, which is where they hang on the poles on the back of the field, had a bonus of 12 points and could easily distract the team from making a robot oriented for the field play, which is much more effective and used at Worlds. Now time for some examples. Let's do a little bit of defining the problem with changeup. So problem number one, the goals are not on the ground, which means that the balls will have to be elevated and then put into the goal at least the height of the goal. This means that balls will have to be lifted, and that's problem number one. Problem number two, teams can, from both sides can put balls into goals. This means that you end up with things like this, where there is a goal with both red and blue balls inside. Let's say the blue team wants to take advantage of this. That means that the blue team would probably want to de-score the red ball. That probably means either pulling it out this way, or if the red ball was on top, pulling it out of the top this way. That's problem number two. Teams need to determine how they can de-score the balls. Here's problem number three. Teams might want to find a way to prevent the other team from scoring at all. This might mean building a cage around one of the goals, something that covers the top or something that covers the sides if they want to prevent the other team from descoring. These are some of two strategies, but they are definitely a couple of problems that this game offers for teams to solve. By analyzing the entire spectrum of problems a game has to offer, teams have made robots optimized for a unique and well-understood strategy. 2496V's first generation in the zone robot is a great example of understanding the game and having a well-defined problem. Many teams overlook the importance of having the easily or tapping on the heavy mobile goals scored into the high scoring point zone over here. This meant that many teams chose to neglect that problem and instead just chose to move the mobile goals into this scoring zone or this scoring zone, both of which were low scoring. Another deceivingly important problem was these central towers. These central towers were actually much more important than teams thought as they were rewarded a bonus at the end of the match for the highest amount of cones stacked on each of the, of the towers. But 2496V understood the main problems to solve at the beginning of the season and made the robot to cleanly address all of them. This mobile goal holder on the back folded out at the beginning of the match and was attached to their strongest subsystem, the DR4B. The DR4B was a lift type that was able to easily reach all of the cones that they needed to on the central tower. This meant that they were able to address the problems that other teams couldn't, and this made them incredibly competitive. Now, let's reiterate the need to define the problem. This first step of the design process is imperative to the development of a robot that is going to address the challenges this game provides. A collection of well thought out problem statements can give a team a comprehensive understanding of what their robot is going to look like and how it will perform. Looking at the game from all angles helps teams to make a good choice of strategy, and once a strategy is chosen, a problem statement may determine the efficacy of a robot. Thanks for watching.